I am Dr. Shashidhar and this is my team. Today we are going to operate a uh, minimally invasive endovenous uh, laser ablation procedure on a young fellow who is suffering a venous insufficiency due to great softness vein varicose veins. This is a uh, minimally invasive done under uh, ultrasound guidance as a daycare procedure under uh, local anesthesia. This under ultrasound guidance we gain access to great softness vein. This is how we place an uh, introduction sheet to the great softness vein and ultrasound guidance we put a small needle inside the vein. This uh, procedure EVLT is done under local anesthesia as a daycare procedure. We gain access to the great softness vein through a small needle which is pricked using ultrasound guidance. So we gain access, we get back blood, a small wire is passed over the great softness vein. This is a 6 French radial sheet. which is passed over the guide wire. So we have gained access to the great softness vein and we confirm that this uh, sheet is inside the vein uh, by ultrasound guidance. This is our uh, new 1940 Neo laser machine. This is the latest advancement in the laser technology. The mechanism of this laser machine which it burns the great softness vein is different. So the advantage of this neo laser is the post-op pain is so negligible that the patient can get back to their all the sports activity, regular activities by next day itself. And one more advantage what they claim is the patient need not wear the stockings probably after a week of the procedure. This is the new 1940 laser fiber which is connected to the laser machine and we have kept a continuous 6 watt running for varicose vein. We have kept it in a continuous mode. This has got a light in the tip so we can see where exactly is the fiber inside the vein. We are passing the laser fiber through the GSV, through the 6 French sheath. As you can see the laser fiber we can track along the GSV and it goes all the way all along to the great safnus vein junction. Uh, Safnofemoral junction which we have focused and we are passing the laser fiber which we you can see the laser fiber also moving inside the great safnus vein and we have kept the laser fiber about uh, 2 centimeter from the safnofemoral junction. We can see that the fiber is moving and we have kept about 2 centimeter distal to safnofemoral junction and in this uh, present scenario the vein is very big so it needs to be given tumusent so we are injecting a tumusent uh, normal saline next to that of the vein so that to compress the vein so that the approximation of laser fiber with the vein will be good and the effect of the laser is also good we can see the fiber inside the great softness vein since it is quite big a good tumusent is also equally important you can see the needle coming across the uh, around the great softness vein so that the tumusent is given so that the vein collapses and the effect of the uh, laser will be good. The tumusent is given all along the vein. You can see that the needle inside the softness sheath, saline being injected and the vein being collapsed and it is hugged to the laser fiber. In the ultrasound you can see that the laser is being activated and you can see the laser is being pulled slowly in a continuous mode and we can see that the vein is being uh, closed with that uh, laser thermal energy. Here we can see the laser fiber which is in the great softness vein which is getting ablated and it is slowly pulled in a continuous fashion all along the GSV and it is again confirmed by sonography 
the laser being ablated inside the great softness vein. And uh, ultrasound guidance all along the great softness vein inside the great softness uh, sheath, we give this tumusen so that the vein gets uh, collapsed and the effect of the laser burning to the vein will be very good. Here you can see the laser fiber is being uh, pulled from great softness vein from femoral, saphnofemoral junction up to just uh, below the knee joint. We do not uh, burn usually the leg vein because the saphenous nerve and the sural nerve uh, injuries are quite common and uh, below the knee joint we usually prefer only scleriotherapy or uh, hook phlebectomies. Now the great softness vein is ablated almost up to the knee length and this the uh, next the short softness vein will be burnt uh, now. You can see the short softness uh, nerve being cannulated and the fiber being passed and we can see that the laser fiber goes uh, up to the saphnofemoral junction. Now after burning the great softness vein, the short softness vein will be burnt. The laser fiber is passed uh, to the short softness vein and we can see the laser fiber going up to the saphnopopliteal junction and we confirm this uh, junction under ultrasound guidance. and then we will uh, start burning. For the lateral perforators, we do sclerotherapy. A small butterfly needle is injected, inserted into the vein and uh, cetral is given all along the vein so that uh, we can confirm on the ultrasound also that it gets uh, obliterated. Now the procedure is done. We have given uh, sclerotherapy for all the perforators and we just remove this sheath off and the procedure is uh, done. We just apply the compression stockings along with crepe bandage for 24 hours. After that, one month for uh, compression stockings and then the patient can discontinue the stockings also. Now after removing the sheath, a waterproof uh, dressing has been applied so that the, it will be comfortable for patient to take bath. Now uh, once the procedure is done, we apply stockings, we apply compression crepe bandage for uh, 48 hours. After that, the patient goes home only with stockings. Now this uh, compression crepe bandage is also applied for 48 hours, after that only stockings is adequate. Now initially for uh, 48 hours, we allow it to be there continuous throughout the day, but after 48 hours, it is only the during the uh, daytime, the stockings is adequate in this uh, procedure. Thanks and the, now the procedure is complete and uh, after two hours we will make the patient uh, walk and uh, this completes the procedure and he will go home in the after four to five hours. And uh, thanks, thanks everybody for supporting, thanks anesthetist and thanking you the team for uh, successfully completing the procedure. Thank you.